Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be taking you guys along with me as I do some cleaning around the house and also as I am doing the normal things I do every single day with my kids at home. I am a mother of two. I have an eight-year-old little girl and a four-year-old little boy and I am married to my husband Rex. I live in the Washington state where it is always cloudy and rainy but in this video i will share with you guys some cleaning motivation and i hope that you guys enjoy videos like that and let's get going so for breakfast today my kids are going to have a half a croissant each with hot dog in the middle like you saw earlier and some strawberry yogurt with granola and peaches Rizo doesn't like granola so I just put peaches in his yogurt and Clarlin is doing homeschool so she's gonna be eating while she's on the computer with her classmates and Rizo is just hanging out as usual and taking his sweet time to eat his breakfast So now that I have taken care of the kids breakfast, I am ready to drink my coffee. I am making my coffee right now. I ran out of those K-cups, so I am using my espresso machine. I mean, the flavor of this one is actually really good, but sometimes it, for me, it just takes too long to make. Um, compared to the Keurig, you just stick it in there and it'll make you the cup of coffee that you want. Just add a little bit of creamer and it's good. But with this one, I really have to like put all the fix-ins, but no regrets, it's still good either way. I also wanted to show you these hot cocoa bombs that are really trending right now. Luckily, my neighbor is selling them for really cheap. I bought four for $10. Usually, each of them, like one cocoa bomb, costs about $5 each, but this one, I got it for $10 for four and the kids haven't seen this yet but i am planning on having a movie night on christmas eve and we're all gonna have hot chocolates and i am going to use this and the kids are gonna be so excited about it i can't wait to share that moment with you guys so usually in the morning i don't get to sit and have breakfast like normal people do i make my coffee and drink it as i clean up after myself with whatever i you know prepared for breakfast and sometimes when i have time i also grab a bite for today i am having hawaiian bread with hot dog inside of it if you guys are wondering why i'm feeding my kids and myself and not rex rex didn't want to eat breakfast that day and so i wasn't preparing anything for him usually i would bring some breakfast up for him but not today let's go to the ocean yeah let's go outside once in a while i try to give the kids activities especially clarlin's some art activities because she's into art and i cut off the bottom of some bok choys and i saw that they look like little roses so i am gonna save these things for some kind of painting craft for one of these days okay guys so now that i have fed the kids myself and rex and especially i've had a sip of my coffee i am ready to tackle the things that i have planned for today i am going to be cleaning three rooms in the house i'll be cleaning this room this is a, we call it the quarantine room because this is where my mom quarantined for two weeks when she got back from the philippines and it hasn't been really organized since then so i am cleaning this one 
I am also cleaning the kids' clubhouse. It's called clubhouse because that's where they play and that's where all their toys are in. And also the guest room upstairs. It'll be a long day for me, but I am going to play some cute little Christmas music for you guys so you won't get bored. I will pop and talk and you'll hear my voice every now and then, but I hope this video gives you guys some kind of motivation to get up and clean at least one room a day and yeah i hope you guys enjoy Santa's gonna come and join us in this song oh, yeah. So this is my sewing table which is currently in between my living room or TV room and the dinner table or dining area. I wanted to move this table into the quarantine room or guest room because I am having visitors in a couple of days and they have little kids and I don't want them messing with it and end up getting hurt. My kids, they know not to mess with all my sewing stuff. This is the most convenient spot for me to sew some stuff because then I could like watch TV while doing it or keep an eye on the kids while I'm working on my sewing machine. But right now, I don't think it's safe for other kids to be around this table. So better safe than sorry. I'm just going to put it away, tuck it in the um guest room and leave it there just so nobody will get hurt So, so the guest room, which was my mom's quarantine room, will be my temporary sewing room for today. This area is all clear now. As you guys saw, this sewing table was in the living room earlier and I just moved it over here just so it's not so cluttery in the living room. I gotta deal with this side of the room kind of declutter all of that and then we're gonna go on to the next room here's more of my sewing fabric things and this is gonna go to the kids art room this is my jewelry making kit that I'm about to give this away. Okay. Rizal, can you put this in the kitchen, please? Come here. Kitchen, garbage, and the money you can put in your piggy bank. Okay, go put it in the piggy bank. More. Everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about... So I told
told you guys that my mom stayed in this room for a couple of weeks and most of the stuff in this room is hers. I found a plastic full of fabric so I'm folding it and putting it away and in this box there's a bunch of just junk that I don't know what it is. That safe right there, I cannot carry it, it's like 100 pounds, it needs to go into this closet and I am waiting for Rex to help me move that. So let's see what's in here. These are all family albums. I can wear this one. I'm gonna keep that. I think that's mine actually. So let's see some pictures. I think, I don't think I'm in this album because I probably, probably left back home when my mom put this together. Yeah, so this is me. I was already here in the States. This was me when I graduated high school in Florida. Um, nope, I'm not here. That's me in Washington. Let's see, that's me in Florida. me in California with my uncle that's my friend that's me in Bea right there my cousin is getting married today gangsta wanna be <laughs> So you guys, I just needed to hurry up and go through these pictures. I saw a few pictures of me and my uncle who just recently passed away about a week ago and feelings started to come in again and I was starting to get very emotional and so I had to stop going through albums. Here he is. We miss you every day, uncle. Okay, so here is downstairs. Just for now, my sewing table is now all set up and obviously it's not going to be like that when I'm using it but at least everything's there now. The bed is made, the boxes and the bin, they're not there anymore. This is an extra desk. It's supposed to be Clarlin's but we brought it down because we wanted her to be down here when she's doing homeschooling but since September she hasn't been using it because I left it here in this room where my mom quarantined for two weeks and she was using that here is the um, balik bayan box that I'm gonna schedule for people to pick it up that's just my tripod over there here is a painting that Rex and I are supposed to be working on but we haven't had the chance to finish it yet and then here's the closet i just put a whole bunch of stuff in here i tried to organize it as best i can there's two sewing machines there that one is the one i'm using currently right now and this is my mom's just a whole bunch of stuff i need to go through these stuff the shredder and there's some bins here let me just show you all right and here's like three more bullet buying boxes in here because my mom likes to send stuff um to the philippines like you know our hand-me-downs and the clothes that are too small for the kids now this is another thing that's gonna be sent to the philippines this one i've had this for more than 10 years it's a roller i just couldn't find it in me to like give it away because i feel like i'm gonna use it but really i am not using it at all Rizo was actually using it earlier um more bins these are all my mom's some clothes like just random clothes in there Rizo's um gift that we haven't opened i probably will wrap it um for christmas and then he's finally gonna open it so or he's finally gonna be able to play with it so yeah that's that here you go there you go this is eventually gonna be my craft room we're gonna rearrange it better next time 
Okay, on to the next room. So these are all donations that need to go to Goodwill. I'm probably gonna drop it off later. They are all from the guest room. So just to clear everything out, I'm gonna just get rid of them today. And that's the guest room. Right next to it is the kids' playroom. It's it's a multifunctional room because it's not super super big anyway, so you can't fit a bed in here. But it's the room under the stairs. Stairs right there. It's also messy. And so this the kids call this their clubhouse. So yeah, this is what we call the clubhouse because this is the kids designated area where they can hang out and just chill and just do their own thing. This is dedicated only for them. All I'm asking for them of them is to keep this place organized, but they're eight year old and four year old, so they will never really keep it as organized as I want them to be. For right now, things are on top of each other, and whenever you try to get something out from the top of this little shelf, everything falls over. So it's about time to kind of organize and get rid of some stuff now. Rizo has um, a restaurant. It's called Dino World. Uh, I guess I'm not gonna throw these away. Here's a, I don't know, a griddle, I guess. Because this is where they cook their fish. There's a fish here somewhere. Their coffee. And then their cupcakes. Noodles. Noodles? Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess this is noodles right here. Makes sense. We're just gonna put it in the pot. Here's another spoon. This one I made this as Rizo's tablet stand. Let's pretend this is the tablet right there. That's pretty cool, but it's kind of like he doesn't really use it, but I don't want to throw it away because it's kind of useful. Like you don't know, you don't know when you need it. So let me just be quiet and start cleaning now. My friends and family. Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times I have to hurry up And um, hurry up and finish cleaning the clubhouse Because in about 45 minutes My cousin is getting married in Alaska And, oops, and um we are invited virtually, so I have to hurry up and get this done and then kind of put a nicer top on, get the wine ready and the wine glasses ready 
so we can have oh my god you guys i am balding balding oh my god toast for their wedding and then that is it i guess that's just how weddings are gonna be now um because of covid but yeah i mean it's not all that bad anymore i just have this side to fix and put away i don't even know what this is i guess carlin was making <coughs> making uh barbie hair or whatever using ribbons and so this is what was left from it let me show you what she did she made so here's a little bit of the barbie hair that she made but i think this is just all left over so we're gonna put that away these like this one she made this one actually she made it for me and i just put a bobby pin on it so it will attach a little better Harlan's little drawing i'm gonna put it up here in this wall i'm just gonna get a, a little tack without freezing yeah isn't that amazing in christmas times he's right there <laughs> and you can actually turn the lights on here i'll show you or he'll show you there you go it's kind of cool in here mom so Mom. if I had the time, I would just love to hang out here and just look at the stars up in the ceiling because it's so pretty. These lights are solar and so they're not super bright anymore because obviously we haven't been putting it outside. But regardless, it's so nice. Chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the wind blows and the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year I want to hang out with my friends and family. Making angels in the sand, you ready. Doesn't matter if it's Christmas in my heart. Okay guys, so here's the clubhouse now. It's not totally organized, but it's way better than it was earlier. There's nothing on top of things here anymore. This is Carlin's school stuff, Rizzo's restaurant thing, the iPad stand that I was telling you about. This is just a random catch-all thing kind of bin. Um, they have their crafting stuff here and all kinds of stuff. Carlin's random books that she reads on and off. Um, here is the art drawer. I labeled all of them, so crayons, pencils and colored pencils, our pens, markers, There's markers right here, I don't know what this is going on, I'll deal with that later, here's the paint, and from here to the bottom, those are like my random things, so I put my name on there. Here is more of the random toys that I just kind of like set aside. And here's their lounge area right here. If you guys are wondering what that box is right there, that is their table that they use for um, their restaurant. And yeah, so it is way better than earlier. And on this wall, I usually just have this one up there, but I saw Carlin's artwork from school that she did during homeschool and she's really good at art so I put them up here I actually found this picture of a fox that I'm gonna put up here um, Rizo saw it and he wanted me to put his art stuff there too so he drew this really quick 
So I'm going to put risos on the other side right here. So that's that. I'm going to go get ready for the wedding. I will see you guys in the next room that I'm going to clean. Santa's coming to visit. Wait, I think I forgot it in the cookout. Here's some cheers to my cousin's wedding. Congratulations. I to give the kid a snack real quick. Then I'm going to go back and attend the wedding. Happy wedding. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you my cousin. So this is Bea. She's getting married today. Why am I being emotional? <laughs> I grew up with her. And uh, she's finally getting married. Congratulations. All right, there she is. Hold on a second. Just filming this one noodle. Congratulations, Bea and Wyatt. Down it? Does it down it? Okay, so the wedding is done. I'm kind of feeling a little bit of the wine, but I gotta get lunch ready for the kids we're having corn dogs and a little bit of vegetables and apples for lunch and what's up if, if you still Ooh. see this the, then then that's albert einstein oh. go far away and then see if it still is marilyn monroe oh yeah i go know that it. oh yeah go Oh, yeah, but if you're this, this close and you see someone else, then you are so excited. Nearsighted, you mean? Hmm. I just realized that I was going to drop off the donation stuff to Value Village, but I can't anymore because I'm feeling the wine now. So these are all going to go back to the guest room right there in the closet right now because it's cluttering my mind my brain i don't like all the boxes and uh, garbage bag in there so we're gonna do that at least i accomplished and i cleaned the guest room and the clubhouse i'm gonna clean my mom's room upstairs and then that should be it for today I know there's gonna be a lot more. I think I'm gonna do the laundry too. Like I, I'm gonna put a load of laundry. I'm gonna do a load of laundry. And then I think we're gonna go grocery shopping later. Depends what time Rex is off work. So I'm gonna go change into my cleaning clothes now. Cause this is my outfit. This is what I look like. Quilt, right? And then this is what I look like on the bottom. <laughs> so what? I don't care. It's all good. It's all good. And then my socks don't match. It's all good. Okay, here I go. Santa's gonna come and join us in this song. having for lunch it's Mommy, actually you know almost it's three o'clock now so it's like snunch you know corn dogs Mommy, and, cool i know 
corn dog, jello. Hey, be gentle with my glass. So they're having corn dog, gelatin or jello, and some apples, jelly. So when you guys put the placemats in on the table, then you can grab your plates, okay? Okay. I am also going to take one corn dog upstairs for Rex. And then I have mine right there. Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, oh and the sun said it is just getting better on a blanket Okay guys, so now I am in my mom's room upstairs And this has turned into a room where I put all the clean clothes and basically it is where I fold the clean clothes right now as you can see there's mountains of clothes on top of my mom's bed but I am about to clear all of that out and make this room as presentable as I can Also having the kids help me out with cleaning these are all their socks that Clarlin has matched already and I was asking them to put away all of their clothes that are on the bed here I am just changing my mom's pillowcases I am planning on putting a different comforter on top of the bed just so it's a little nicer to look at I'm not saying that my mom's bed my mom's I'm not saying that my mom's bed sheet doesn't look nice but I mean comforters always to me always makes the bed look a little bit more hotel looking so that's what I did here Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Just come in to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said It is just getting better On a blanket with the skyline Painted in blue Ooh. Do you guys ever save those plastic bags like this That comes with your comforter? I do because it's a really good storage for the bedding. Comment down below if you guys do save that and what else do you guys use it for besides storing your comforters. Now I am going through all of these clothes that have been hanging here for a long time. This is just like an extra space for me to hang my clothes, you know, just so it's easy for me to see. But I am putting things away today. And here is my linen closet. 
I am pretty proud of myself for keeping this organized since we moved into this house. We've been in this house for about a year now in January and it has been looking nice and neat and usually it doesn't last so long but this time I was able to make it look nice and organized and pat in the back for me. going to wrap up the day now it is 5 30 in the afternoon we are going to um we're gonna go grocery shopping but i am gonna end the vlog here thank you guys for hanging out with me it has been a while so i'm sorry if the way i been filming is a little all over the place but in the next seven days i will see you guys later Bye. Let's go.